Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to make a spreadsheet for doing sewer dilutions for the atomic absorption experiment. So in this experiment, we're going to be given a concentration of some stock solution, in this case somewhere around 1,000 ppm. You can adjust that to whatever you need. We're going to make a substock of around 100 grams, and then we're going to make individual standard solutions, each one of these being 50 grams. So we're going to start on... You should determine what you want your ppms of your standard solution, and then you should make your substock such that it is uh, convenient in mass to go from 1,000 ppm to whatever it is, and then from that number down to your actual concentrations, maybe something that's tenfold and tenfold would be great, but it all depends on what these final values are. So uh, in here, I'm going to check, just pick a substock of 250 ppm, and um, so I need to determine with this formula, right, just concentration times mass equals concentration times mass, how much of the solution I need to make that. And of course, with 250 ppm, it's, it's already pretty easy to see that uh, concentration times mass divided by, in this case, concentration will give us the mass that we need of the stock solution to get there. And of course, the balance will just be the remainder, so 75 grams of DI water. And so we also, of course, should have picked these first, but I'm just going to arbitrarily pick them now. So 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, what we want. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So how much of the stock solution do we need? Well, we want 50 grams of 50 ppm from a stock solution of 250, which will give us three grams. And of course our balance, uh, same here, right? We want 25 ppm of 50 grams of that from our stock solution of 250 again. And the balance of course is just that, the uh, final weight divided by how much, minus how much you put in. And I'll just do one more. So 50 grams of 35 ppm from a 250 ppm stock. So this is what you're gonna wanna do to uh, make oops, your solutions. Now in reality, you're not actually gonna put in three grams and 37 grams. You're actually gonna get close, but not that close. So on um, so in order to do that, we should calculate what they really are and then back feed in as we go. So the weight of the stock solution, maybe in reality, instead of 25 grams, you did 24 and a weight two. And DIYs, you put in 75.1776. So your total mass for this system, of course, is going to be these two added together. And you're gonna need that for your next calculation, which is this. Remember, concentration times mass equals concentration times mass. So this is simply um, the amount of material of the 1,000 ppm you put in divided by the total mass, right? So we're pretty close. We got close to 250 ppm, but we're not perfect. So what about our substock solutions? Okay, so for this one, we did 2.9044 grams of substock solution and we did 47.2316 of DI water. Once again, our total mass is important. In fact, once you do the first one, you can now go ahead and do the remainders so that'll propagate here. And of course, our PPM is simply uh, 2.9, how many grams times uh, uh, the concentration of solution divided by the total mass of our of our system. So we got close to 15, uh, not too bad. Uh, but at this point, remember, we can then propagate this all the way down, so it'll do it automatically for us. So for the next system, oh, actually, wait. We need to lock in this value here first. F4, boom. Okay, now we can drag it down. <laughs> so there we go. So the next weight of our substock solution, we did 4.7924 and 
0.02 grams of DI water, and that's pretty close to our 25, not too bad, but we have an exact value. Then maybe 6.1016 and 43.7521. So in reality, we have a 30.5 ppm stock. And then so on and so on. So you should be able to get, you should be able to make the spreadsheet on your own. I will include the template, but not any of the coding. And you should go ahead and use this in lab because this will be key to helping you complete the lab quickly and correctly in a short amount of time.